That's what I'm gonna be wearing today. Woo. Okay, so I found out that I'm adopted. Somebody put some spritz in my hair. I don't need no spritz. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. But anyway, I found out I'm adopted in uh, one of the places I am South America, Asia, and uh, Africa. I'm from these three places. Uh, I need to know a little bit more about it. But um, definitely, I'm um, loving everything that um, I came from. Um, okay, good job. So, uh, I really don't know who everybody is supposed to be um, in my life, but I like everybody who's in my life. Everybody who stepped out of my life, I like how they stepped out of my life and the way they did it. According to what scripture, which means what I prayed about it, and they would go ahead and kick rocks uh, while they did it. Uh, we always need somebody to uh, be around, but uh, I I'm willing to uh, wait on the Lord for a husband. Uh, a husband is uh, in due season, and, and I feel this is in due season. Uh, Rock a bye, uh, baby, and uh, I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it this time around my life. Um, I have a birth certificate that has a, a, a rainbow on it. I don't know what the rainbow stands for. I thought the rainbow stands for adoption. Uh, but if it don't, let me know in comments. Let me know if it's just uh, something that my mom picked out for me named Urena. She passed away. Rest in peace, Urena. If you want to say something, you can say rest in peace, Urena. If you don't know nothing else to say. Uh, my mom told me to go into the military and this is for her. My sisters always support me. I have the other ones for my sisters. Um, life is very strange when you uh, stand up for it. And when you don't stand up for it, it drops the ball on you. Uh, but pretend never to uh, look at life with a squint. Look at life with a big eye and say, who are you to me? When life stands back at you and say, who are you to me? Say, I'm what queen of the most high. I'm a prince of the most high. A king, I mean, of the most high. My, my sons are all... Um, special to me and uh if I ever was to pass uh I don't know what uh I would do because I'm not in a position to pass right now so uh I'm getting myself together I said in the last video so I could go ahead and pass on when I need to be I got this hair on my hand if you want to know what I'm looking at this hair came out <sighs> so um A lot of people flirt with people's husbands. Why do people flirt with people's husbands? Is it because they got big eyes for their people's husband? They think that it's their husband? Probably. But that don't mean that it's for them, though. It means that it's for who it's supposed to be for. And if they can't understand that, then they need to let it go. People's husbands are people's husbands, and they, they don't want to envy uh, nobody because they took their husband. They want to want to keep things going with their friends and their family and uh, people's uh, yokes are broken. 
if they can understand this, but if people can't understand that, then uh, the yokes will be heavy, very heavy, and uh, that's all I got to say. Well, I'm trying to braid my hair while I'm looking in this camera, and I don't even know how I'm doing. My hair broke off, broke off, broke off. Get my little girl in the center, my little girl in the the motor that is the latica, she motor the center. My hair broke off, and uh, man, do this one. Yeah, people's husbands are people's husbands. They ask them if it's their husband or not. And they ask the prophet, is this their husband or not? And if it's their husband, don't say it's your husband later on in life. Believe their husband's alone. Because your husband is your husband and their husband is their husband. Uh, I had to learn it the hard way. We had some stuff in the family one time about this one brother. And uh, everything has been reconciled. Uh, the fullest degree. So, uh, thank y'all for listening. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your precious footnotes. Uh, I hear people saying what they got to do with a religion. Uh, there's so much that they got to do with a religion. Just take out your word and take out your technology. Put your uh, phone by it and put. What does this have to do with? Or don't you have to do with a uh, talking to somebody's husband. If you uh, see it with, think about it with your eyes and think about somebody else's husband. Uh, some see it as adultery. And if some see it as adultery, then some gonna see it as uh, something that needs to be uh, quit, quitted on. Um, maybe your friendship needs to be stopped or maybe it just needs to be... Um, just uh, negatively uh, speaking, uh, putting a hand out on them and saying, well, please, you know, chill on that, you know, get it together. So we all can have a husband. Everybody don't need all the husbands in the world. Some people just need one husband. Some people need four husbands. They might get divorced and then get another husband, but, you know, when you get the right one, stay with the right one. Don't be clinging with somebody else's husband. Yeah, well, I'll have a good time and do what we need to be doing. Love y'all. Peace, style, wear, beauty, uh, natural beauty, especially and forces, spiritual warfare. Where you at? Stand up. Bye bye.